The following is a presentation of TFNN. Trade what you see with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, Larry Pesavento. Okay, looking good, Billy Ray, feeling good, Lewis. I think we have uh, David White, Mr. Google, Super Dave on the line. Dave, are you there? I am. Hey, nice to have you on, folks. Dave has a uh, product at TFNN that you might not know about. It's uh, what are they? It's called charting or something? Charting the market? The, is that what it's called? The art of timing the trade charts, which is mostly based on Tom's book. Uh, mm -hmm. It adds a few additional things in there that uh, I've added uh, for the actual charting. Uh, but uh, we do a scan every night for Gartley patterns, which I think is what we're talking about this morning. And those yes. Gartley patterns are sent out. You can also download them through the software and look at them. But uh, generally, either at night or in the morning, uh, by 8 o'clock in the morning, I've gone through those and gotten rid of the the uh, false positives. So mm -hmm. you'll get a PDF of just the uh, Gartley patterns that we've found that look more like Gartley patterns. May not be the perfect mm -hmm. ones, they may be setting up. Uh, and uh, I think okay. what we're talking now, about, go ahead. No, I, I was going to say uh, you do butterfly patterns too. I've seen those. Uh, you do both of those, don't you? Yeah, I was I was going to say I kind of think of them both as Gartley patterns, just the butterfly. Yeah, they are. Yeah, they want the Gart uh, a butterfly is just a failed Gartley. It's pretty much the same thing. Right. So uh, the big thing is that uh, on in equities they seem to happen a lot more in in uh, commodities, but we mm -hmm. we're actually scanning for that pattern in the uh, in the equities. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. if you get one or two out of you know there's two or three one, that even look kind of close on a, on a good day. That's, that is kind of like a big amount of Gartley's in the equity market. Uh, that we have, uh, I don't know, I probably could have put 30 in that wow. PDF I, I sent you on, on, uh, on Wednesday. Uh, mm -hmm. But uh, I don't know, is this? Uh, yeah, something's big's happening, David. It's, uh, there, it's everywhere. There is. I, 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 yeah. It really I'm is. To, I, uh, I'm trying to fight Hotcom here, and mm -hmm. it won't work. But because uh, I've got that PDF, <laughs> I've got that PDF I sent you, but it won't. Mm -hmm. I had the same problem yesterday in the den, and it mm -hmm. wouldn't let me uh, put anything in there correctly. I guess still happening this morning, so maybe I'll get it sorted out before my show later today. But uh, well, it is. It is. Uh, I'm looking at yeah, about 30 of them here, and almost all of them are butterflies. Uh, mm -hmm. to the ups upside. And um, I mean, for their China, uh, there's certainly uh, the emerging markets. Um, and it, mm -hmm. it's not like it's a bunch of individual stocks. Almost every one of these is some monster ETF uh, mm -hmm. from the uh, uh, Italy, South Korea, mm -hmm. Brazil, uh, small cap markets here in the United States, uh, the mm -hmm. financial sector. Um, but uh, I, I, I think I said to you that I've never, I don't remember when we started this, but I think it was like 2014. Uh, yeah, it was and, pretty close to that, yes. And so I think the biggest day I've ever had for Gartley patterns in the equity markets is maybe five or six. And that you could, that I could probably put in 50 this morning uh, tells me that we're in a market, especially uh, with these uh, butterflies that are extremely mm -hmm. uh, extended. And I, I I don't know if you had any one that you particularly liked out of the ones that I sent you. They all look the same, David. <laughs> Every one of them was, I, I was, was spot on. Say, yeah. <laughs> there isn't a whole lot out here. Yeah. They all broke out. Pretty much most of them broke out without a sign of strength uh, above the X point. Mm -hmm. And I guess... Yeah, we do, we we're assuming everybody knows what a Gartley pattern is, 
But well, if they it, don't, they're missing something. <laughs> <laughs> but basically, it's kind of like an ABC pattern that extends, and you get one more uh, leg out there. They tend to look like kind of uh, sideways W's for the for the uh, kind of candid, maybe at a maybe at like a 45 degree angle, kind of a big W. Uh, so you get that at least in the uh, bearish ones. So you end mm -hmm. up you get this big long last leg out of what it would normally be an ABCD, you actually get this big extended move on the last leg. And generally, those tend to be some fairly big exhaustion moves, generally. Mm -hmm. Now, as the king of uh, the bearish butterfly, at the top of that butterfly, what should happen? Well, it shouldn't go any higher, and that should be it. It should just roll over, and the wing should flip off the butterfly, and down she goes. So we'll see. What now? Are you are you normally saying that it should come back to the B? Uh, or no, the C? usually it'll, okay. it'll make a 1.618 expansion of that B swing, and then, in other words, take you down and take those lows out by quite a bit. Is usually if it's correct. Okay, so somewhere between the B and the C. Yes. Okay. Yeah, so, starting with B, the B, you take the B up to D. Uh, excuse me, you take the C up to D, and then when the the D is finally done. You take the 1.618 to the CD, and that should be your first objective on the downside. Okay. So we worked, in fact, when we started this, we worked out uh, uh, kind of the, the best mathematical description <laughs> of this. But for everybody else, uh, it starts with an X point. Uh, that's kind of where the pattern mm -hmm. starts. You come down and generally, uh, or, or you go up uh, uh, a certain amount. Then you get generally something like a, uh, what, a 70, 80 percent retrace of that, doesn't quite get up there, then it pulls back, and it quite doesn't get back down to the previous low, and then you get this big, at least in the, butter, uh, the butterfly pattern, you get this huge extension, uh, and yes. then that's it. That's all she wrote. Anyway, I just thought it was very interesting. There's a couple of times uh, in my career since 1998 of where everything was speaking with one voice and uh, kind of the dot coms uh, right at uh, uh, January 3rd of 2000 uh, and every single uh, broker dealer and bank on March 5th of 2008 retesting its previous high every single one I had probably 50 that day, and I'll always remember it, every single one was testing the previous high in 50% of the volume. There wasn't, it wow. wasn't every single one. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, it didn't matter whether it was uh, 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 all, uh, all, all, all the big major banks, in fact. So you, you, when you see like one, you go, okay, that's kind of good. Maybe that's a decent pattern. I just don't know. Have you seen that many patterns at once develop? I know you do more. Uh, well, I, yes, I, I've gone through all the stock indices and everything, and all these patterns are completed. The last one to complete was the Dow Jones yesterday uh, and the NASDAQ. Both of those completed. The S&P had already completed at 96. Hey, David, thanks for joining us today, my friend, and I hope the folks take advantage of what you put out. It's really okay. good stuff. Good thanks night. a lot. You bet. David White, Mr. Super Dave, Mr. Google. We'll be right back, folks. If you're not currently using the Taz Profile Scanner when looking at setting up your trading opportunities, then your arsenal is short a mighty weapon. The Taz Profile Scanner is a standalone piece of software that instantly filters over 2,500 global financial markets such as stocks, ETFs, commodity futures, and Forex. Headed by Steve Dahl, Taz understands that in today's technological world, the use of top-flight software applications and technical analysis expertise is essential to successful trading in today's market. You also gain access to the webinar that Steve Dahl and Tom O'Brien just hosted, The Best Way to Use the Taz Profile Scanner to Profit. This webinar archive is available for all subscribers immediately upon signing up. All new subscriptions also come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to risk. 
Start your subscription by visiting the front page of TFNN.com today and you'll find the TAS Profile Scanner under the Services tab. Sign up today. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value, or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate LA. LC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. Many of our new listeners have heard about The Tiger's Den. The Tiger's Den is a lively community where professional traders and investors can meet, exchange ideas and information in a comfortable, moderated atmosphere. Hear all of the TFNN shows, plus see all of the charts as they happen live and have access to archives of all of those charts. You can test drive The Tiger's Den absolutely free for 30 days and greatly enrich your knowledge of these markets and how to make your money work for you. Details on The Tiger's Den are on the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN has launched our brand new website. You can still visit us at the same TFNN.com URL, but when you do, you'll see a new and improved homepage with a much simpler navigation, whether you're watching Tiger TV live in high definition or just accessing your newsletter subscriptions. We even have new pricing in six months and yearly options. Check out the new TFNN.com now and experience all the upgrades. TFNN.com, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Okay, we're back, folks, and I believe we have Dr. David Paul on the line. Dr. David, are you there? Yeah, Larry, how are you, sir? I am good, my friend. Uh, listen, really, thank you for being on. Uh, unfortunately, we're not going to be able to have Tom on today because he has a really bad sore throat, so maybe we'll have him on later. Uh, David, would you explain, I've had several questions about the Martingale system that we talked about the last time you were on. Would you explain uh, how you use that? Because there seems to be some confusion, because there's got to be a spot where you have to take profit somewhere because you're not going to get 11-0 run all the time. So how do you handle that? Well, first of all, uh, I hope people – can you see the slides out there that I've got? Uh, 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 first uh, of all, I folks – I don't see any slides yet, but they might be here. They'll tell me if they are, so I can't see it either. So we'll just do one thing at a time to see if we can do it here. Um, he, well, they okay. say, That's okay, just go ahead and talk about it. That would be uh, that would be fine. Well, okay, I, I spoke la I spoke last week about these clusters, which make this uh, uh, life so darn uh, difficult. Where. If you've got a system that's right, let's say 66% of the time, that's a hell of a good system. Uh, uh, but that means that you get five bad ones in a row uh, every 250 odd trades, which is a third times a third times a third. We can all do the sums. So uh, these runs of good luck and runs of bad luck happen all the time. And one of the most difficult things that I've ever had to do in my whole darn life is to get to a point where I can think in probabilities, and that's what Douglas mm -hmm. talks about uh, in his book. I have a little, uh, I have a little expression, Larry, that helps me uh, get that right in my mind, and I have it on the wall here in my little office. Uh, it, uh, the expression goes, "Frequently wrong, but never in doubt." <laughs> Okay. I like that one. <laughs> so uh, there's a book. There's a book title there. Don't you be stealing it now, okay? No, no, no. Uh, I won't. Uh, okay. I'm pretty good. 
<laughs> just remember, I was the only guy that bought that book of yours in astrology. Just remember that. I did you yes. a favor. You, you were the one person. Thank you very much. <laughs> so these clusters, folks, are real. And uh, uh, the, the stuff that I presented last week, I, I just cut and pasted out of a gambling book. There's, no, uh, there's nothing particularly new. But I don't know if anybody can see the slide. But uh, all I know is that if you bet uh, uh, $10 and you win, uh, after seven winning trades, you've made seventy dollars. Okay, uh, and uh, uh, if you lose, and you double up to try and get your money back, uh, then uh, after seven or eight losing trades, you've got to bet twelve hundred and eighty dollars to get your ten dollars back, which is not good. <laughs> which is not good. No. That's for uh, sure. The reverse martingale is quite simple, and it's uh, quite counterintuitive, especially if you're on the uh, uh, gambling table, because uh, if you lose, you keep the bet the same size. Uh, and that means if you have a run of seven or eight bad ones, you've lost $70, which is not the end of the world. You can go home, uh, and all is good. Uh, but if you have a run of good ones, and you double up, uh, you can actually, that was a slide I showed in London and impressed everybody, that you can actually uh, run up that $10 into $1,270 after a run of seven good ones. But as you say, sooner or later the bad one will arrive, and it may come a lot quicker than uh, seven. So on the eighth, you would be betting 1280 and you would give everything back which is not good. Wow. And, that, and that was the email that I fielded from one mm. of your listeners last week. Now, yes. here's, how I, here's how I get around that, Larry. Uh, and that's in the next slide. I don't know anybody can see it or not. I tried to share them. But rather than increasing, doubling the bet, uh, and this is my prized roulette system, uh, I go from a $10 bet to a 20 So the very first one that you win, uh, you, uh, in fact, double up. And then the next time, Rather than doubling up, you go to 30, and then you go to 40, then you go to 50, then you go to 60, then you go to 70, then you go to 80. If you get a run of eight winners, uh, and then you lose in the ninth time, if you do the mathematics, you in fact are up $270. Well, that's much better. Which is much better, By, yes. Yeah, so, that's a long shot. Yeah, sure it is. It's, it's certainly much better. So if you have a run of losers, you would end up losing uh, $70. If you have a run of winners, you have uh, end up making, in this uh, little example, $270. So doubling up is very aggressive indeed. So what I normally do is that I, I, I add uh, the first bet is 10, then I go to 20, then I go to 30, then I go to 40. And after four or five, uh, I, I, I normally stop. Now, mm -hmm. If you're applying this to trading, uh, then uh, what I simply do is that uh, I get into the first position, a small position. Uh, if it goes my way, uh, and the, the setup that I use is based on a, a wake-off setup, and it either works or it doesn't work very quickly indeed. You're not sort of sitting mm -hmm. there scratching or whatever, waiting for it to work. Uh, it's sudden death. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, and uh, then when I can safely get my stop loss to entry, then I add, okay? Mm -hmm. And that means in theory, uh, in a liquid market, that I'm using the paper profits of the first tranche to actually finance the risk on the second lot. Okay. When it moves my way again, I bring, when I can safely get my stop loss up to the entry point of the second tranche, uh, then I add again, and in other words, I use the paper profits to finance the risk on uh, the third tranche of shares. So the risk never gets any higher than the initial percentage risk. That's how I do it. I've been doing it like oh, that for that's years. Good. Oh, that's, which, that's great. Which, which means that I can build a seriously big risk to reward ratio of uh, maybe eight to one relatively quickly. Uh, not as easy to do that intraday because markets don't, as you know better than I, don't move that far intraday normally. Mm -hmm. 
but mm -hmm. certainly on my three to 21 day swing trades that I use uh, in UK shares and in American shares with a Vectorverse product, then I can quite mm -hmm. easily do that. And mm -hmm. I'm in fact doing a course for Vectorvest on the 6th of December to show uh, all our customers in North America how to do that. I'm going to sunny North Carolina to do that. Oh, you know, oh that's nice course. down there in the Golden Triangle. Hey, yeah. David, what is your favorite thing to trade, someone's asked. What is my favorite? Uh, well, at the moment, uh, I'm trading uh, uh, UK shares and American shares long and short. I also do take positions uh, in... Uh, uh, the forex market. I trade the forex market on a four-hour chart. Mm -hmm. uh, largely across the board, I use uh, the uh, Wyckoff Spring and Upthrust to enter positions. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. And, uh, uh, I think it was you who told me in London that Wyckoff and uh, Jart they knew each other quite well. Yes, they did. They sure did. Hey, David, thanks for joining us, my friend. We'll have you on next Friday, okay? I hope that ironed that out, Larry. You take good care of yourself, sir. You, you too, my friend. And tell Tom I said hello. Cheers, mate. Bye-bye, yeah, you, you bet. Dr. David Paul, folks. We'll be right back. Larry Pesavento has just started his brand new service, Fibonacci 24-7, and he's already delivering content to his subscribers on a daily basis when the market's opened and even on weekends. Each Monday, you'll receive Larry's written report that provides detailed commentary and a summary on the charts and videos that Larry sends out. And throughout the week, when warranted, Larry will send out via charts or videos or both the key markets that he is watching during the day. This will be up-to-the-date active trading information that will help you in your daily trading. In Larry's first week alone, he sent out 25 charts, six videos, and a full report to his subscribers in just one week. If you're a technical trader that uses patterns and retracements to trade, then Larry's service Fibonacci 24-7 is something that you must try. Right now, new subscribers can get a full 30-day money-back guarantee. With nothing to risk, sign up now to Larry Pesavento's Fibonacci 24-7 by visiting the front page of TFNN.com under Trading Newsletters. The Path of Least Resistance is David White's daily trading newsletter, and if you're looking for active trading ideas, then now's a perfect time for a 30-day free trial to this powerful daily trading advisory service. David uses his years of trading experience to offer his subscribers his trading ideas each morning in his Path of Least Resistance newsletter. Using a combination of equity trades along with options, David keeps his subscribers up to date with all pertinent market information with intraday afternoon updates when warranted. Don't miss out on this great chance to get a 30-day free trial to David's daily newsletter, The Path of Least Resistance, with no obligation to pay anything. David has been delivering solid recommendations for his subscribers recently, and if you'd like to see the type of newsletter he delivers every morning, then visit the front page of TFNN, and you'll find The Path of Least Resistance under Trading Newsletters. For all the details, and to start your 30-day free trial today, log on to TFNN.com now. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com.
Okay, we're back, folks, and uh, we uh, take a look at this chart that I posted. This is from Jim Bartolioni, V50 Partners, and as you can see here, he is showing the completion of that butterfly up there. Uh, this is a long-term chart, of course, so uh, pay close attention to that. There's just a lot of things going on. If you remember, we had that same chart from our good friend, Mr. Enzo over in Italy, and he, he brought us the same chart. I'll do it, uh-oh, shut the front door in just a minute, and we will get this out of the way here. Hold on just a second here. Uh, what did I do wrong? Hold on, there we go, hold on just a second here. And then you'll see here, there's the same one in the S&P. They're, they're everywhere, folks. The, uh, the Dow Jones Industrial Average is also one that is uh, doing pretty much, the, uh, pretty much the same thing that all the other ones are doing. Let's put the Dow up so you'll be able to see that this is the one that Maria was talking about yesterday. So we'll take a quick look at that one. So let's move on to the one that is the most interesting of all, in my opinion. Boys and girls, we've been talking about this puppy since Hector was a pup, and here's one of them. Here's one of his pups. We're going to bring it up here. Here is the one for silver. You can see the silver that we're looking at here. 1640 in the silver is the ABCD pattern in this. You can see uh, multiple ABCDs. There's a little three drive there also. This is 61% retracement from the low way back in March when it was trading at 14.40. So pay attention, folks. We're coming down hard. So uh, we should get there. Whether we do or not, I don't know, but we're very, very close. Now, if you'll take a look at the same thing in the gold market, you're going to be seeing the same thing. Now, I'm going to pr present it just a little bit differently because you've seen it a lot of different ways. This was sent to us by one of our friends over in Switzerland, and we want to get this up here so we can take a quick look at it and let you folks see it. This is... Uh, Yes, we got that uh, new moon. No, we got the full moon coming up here on Tuesday. We got Norm Winsky coming in on Monday. Uh, our, is the market's not closed on Monday? They don't close on Veterans Day, do they? No, they don't. Uh, look, look at this pattern here in the gold since a high was made at 1566, folks, you know, way back in September. Look at those moves. Now, uh, the 382 on that puppy comes in at, guess what, 1449. That's really close to those numbers we've been waiting for for a very long time. I'm going to tell you a little story, folks. When I was back, by the way, hey, time out. <clears throat> Judge's ruling. Do not miss next Wednesday's show. Do not miss next Wednesday's show. The reason why we are going to take a trip down memory lane. My good buddy, Dr. Steve Shapiro. Retired professor of Drexel University in San Luis Obispo, uh, Cal Poly, is going to be my guest. He was involved with all of it, folks. The AI program with Dennis Reagan, Bryce Gilmore, Mark Douglas, all the big super traders that came through Pismo Beach and stuff. And uh, and his uh, his mom was uh, in oh, just just old old stories. You're going to love it. Some of the stuff with the wave trader and the AI program and some other things that we've had the experiences that we had you know, through the years. So I think you're going to be really liking that. And I, I know I will. I was just chatting with him yesterday, and I had, I was laughing on the floor just remembering some of the other stuff. All right, folks, we talked about the gold. We talked about the silver. We talked about the stock market. Now, let me explain to you. Part of my education was a pharmacy, and then I got a master's degree in business at Indiana, and one of the professors would come in from Harvard, John Galbraith, and he would talk to us. He came twice during the two years I was there. And in one story, he told a story about the secret to investing. And he had a good friend who was a Jewish furrier. In other words, he made custom-made furs. This man was worth about $20 million, and he had two sons. And he was getting—he was on his deathbed. He only had like four or five months to live. And so he gave each of his sons a million dollars. And he said, whoever can do the best on this million-dollar investment you're going to get the remainder of my uh, of the remainder of my fortune. So, um, Sarah, that's Carlos. Could you take care of that for me, honey? Uh, I go to get the time changes. He said, "Whoever takes the best, uh, he, take, he he cleans my car every Friday." Sorry, guys. <laughs> Been doing it for 25 years. Anyway, let's uh, take a look at this. Uh, uh, the rest of the story, he said, whoever makes the most on that million dollars up until the time that I die, which is six months to a year, will get the remainder of my fortune. Well, the one son, he puts his money in 4% T-bills. 
The other son, he goes out and he buys an airplane. He buys a very, very expensive boat, and he starts dating an exotic dancer. At the end of six months, he's lost all of his money. The other son has got 4% of his money. So they go back to the father who's on his last breath, and he says to the son with the 4%, he said, I'm glad you did good. He says, but frankly, I have to give the money to your brother. He says, but dad, he doesn't have any money, and I've still got the original investment. He said, son, but your brother has learned the secret to investing. He said, if it flies, floats, or does exotic dancing, lease it. So the thing here is you got to remember, folks, it's all about risk control. That's the key that we're looking at. Now, let's get back to the start of the show, what we usually do, and that is, uh, I paraphrase some of that, by the way, folks. Here's the DAX daily. Let's just take a quick, because we we're, we got patterns everywhere, as David was telling me. They're just, uh, they're just all over the map. Here's the DAX. We've been up here for uh, two days now, and if we take a little bit uh, – just one second here. If we take a little bit shorter term view of the DAX, uh, you'll be able to see what's happened here. Now, this is, remember, this is really short term because it's only over a day or two. So that's pretty much what's been happening here. As you can see, we'll get this up and take a look at it. And uh, you'll see that was the DAX. And then we just, there are just, just so many of them here that it's, and where's the FTSE? Uh, the FTSE's not doing really too much. Let's get it up. But it's still completing a pattern. It's at the 61% retracement of the whole thing. So this is, uh, um, these markets are really dancing around these numbers. Whether it means anything or not, I don't know, but we're going to certainly find out. All I know is that the grain, the corn, wheat, and hogs, all that stuff did not act very well, uh, given the fact that these tariffs are supposed to be over. And frankly, folks, I don't trust them. If you want to know, they use it as a, well, I'm just not going to get into that. Let's just not worry about it. Okay. We won't worry about it. That's for sure. The main ones to watch today, folks, are the gold and the silver. They're right on the money. And then we got another one. We have the big daddy rabbit coming in here. And I want to talk to you about it because it's really, really important. Here's where we were. If you remember, in the uh, Treasury bonds, these are the Treasury bonds. You'll see here that uh, we still have a couple ABCD patterns down there. There's a big 1.618 at 155.13. Now the market, you'll notice uh, yesterday, uh, they, excuse me, on Tuesday rallied up to a 382 retracement at 159 and change. And if you think these markets don't repeat, and remember this is one of the largest markets that we have, folks. And just look, just look what happened last night, because I happen to be watching this. Here's the Treasury bond. You'll notice between the fifth and the sixth, it rallied a point and a half. And between the seventh and the eighth, what did it rally to? Exactly to a point and a half. And we've come down and we've touched these lows again. Folks, this is uh, this is really uh, uh, this really it's getting ready to do something, and open interest is dropping in these bonds. So it's going to be real interesting to see if this in fact uh, changes. So a lot of things happen. Eight seven seven nine two seven six six four eight. If you're in the CD market and looking for a secure investment, the Tiger First Mortgage Program may work for you. The security for these first mortgages are building lots in the Tax Opportunity Zone in St. Petersburg, Florida. The Tax Act of 2018 set up tax-free zones across the country where you can build and hold for 10 years and pay no tax on the profits, which makes these lots valuable. The investment is anywhere from $30,000 to $75,000. The interest paid is 7% yearly paid on a monthly basis. According to Bankrate.com, the best rate for a four-year CD in the country as of February 20th is 3.1%. A $50,000 investment at a normal four-year CD rate of 3.1% would give you income of $1,550 per year or $6,200 over the four-year period. That same $50,000 investment in the Tiger First Mortgage Program would give you $3,500 per year or $14,000 over the four years. What would you prefer, $6,200 or $14,000 of interest on your investment? If you'd like more information about the Tiger First Mortgage Program, you can call me at 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. 
If you're a trader in the market looking for exposure to gold or gold mining equities, then now is a perfect time to sign up for Tom O'Brien's Gold Report. The summer is over, gold is trading back above $1,500, and the 10-year treasury is hovering at around 1.5%. Tom O'Brien has been writing his weekly gold report for almost 18 years. There's no one that knows more about how the gold market trades and how gold mining equities react. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to lose. Every Monday morning, Tom publishes his weekly gold report with coverage of gold, silver, bonds, the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, as well as more than 30 different mining equities. As of September 3rd, Gold Report subscribers have five active open positions with an average unrealized profit of almost 38% for each position. To see for yourself the types of profitable trades that are recommended within the Gold Report, sign up today by visiting TFNN.com. Will the S&P 500 continue to climb? For bold trades on U.S. large cap stocks in either direction, trade SPXL, SPUU, or SPXS. Direction's daily S&P 500 bull and bear leveraged ETFs. Direction leveraged ETFs. An investor should carefully consider a fund's investment objective, risks, charges, and expenses before investing. A fund's prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a fund's prospectus and summary prospectus, call 866-476-7523 or visit directioninvestments.com. A fund's prospectus and summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor for Side Fund Services, LLC. The Bull Bear Trading Hour with Tom and Tommy O'Brien. Next. Well, folks, this is our lucky day. We've got Beverly from Princeton, New Jersey on the line. How are you, dear? Hello? Uh oh maybe we've lost it. Gosh, I hope not. Hello? Uh, oh, Beverly, sorry, I thought we lost you. How are you doing today? No, I'm pretty good, I've been told. Yes. I know I'm you're sorry. not a fundamentalist, but this nothing about silver makes any sense. And <laughs> what I mean by that is it is used as solder in most of the electrical gadgets we use. It is used in almost every solar panel that's built. So why should the price be dropping so much? That's why I don't uh, look at fundamentals, because I can never understand it. I mean, you know, <laughs> I, I know I'm serious, Beverly, because I, I really don't understand it, because yeah, I've seen it so many times. I mean, look at all the things that we have going on in our economy that don't look very good, and here we got the stock market at a, an all-time high over the past uh, 200 and some years. So I, I don't—I really just look at the bar charts. I really do. I, I started doing that back in— Oh, my gosh, I think it was right after 70, uh, the October of 74. That was my last stint of looking at uh, fundamentals and stuff. And since that time, I actually, those of people that know me really well know that I really don't look at, I haven't read a newspaper or a magazine. Hmm. The only the only TV I watch is, uh, you know, Frasier and uh, some of the other shows that like uh, Cozy TV with uh, Mannix and, you know, uh, the Mod Squad and... Uh, and, uh, and, of course, um, uh, Kojak. But anyway, that, I really don't do the fundamentals. I don't know anything about them. Well, you know, the problem is we actually eat our silver. In other words, it can't be recycled. They make these teensy weensy mm. solders. Same thing with solar panels. Nobody's going to scrape it off and collect it and recycle it. So, you know, oh, they do. solar oh, panels that, that, all that, over the world, Japan. Yeah. Uh, Australia, India, they're building these acres of solar panels. So mm -hmm. I, I can't understand how the price could possibly be going down, but it is. Well, it is, but the, 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 as far as reclaiming, that's a really big business. Uh, one of my very close friends and dear friends out of Philadelphia has a big business. That's what he does. He reclaims silver, gold, uh, platinum, and palladium, and it's a huge business. He and his two sons have been doing this. He's a metallurgical engineer, and they've been doing this for 30 years, so it's a, it's a big business. 
And well, so they where, do. Re, where they do they do. reclaim silver f from? I mean, I can understand oh, jewelry. Oh, so, so, cell, phones, cell phones, cell phones, cell phones, radios, TVs, uh, any of those things that have you know extra. Uh, what do you call it? Uh, electronic Silent. stuff in it. Yeah, that's where they get it from. Yeah, if they break it down and it goes through it, melt it, melts it out, and they 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 have a way of separating it, and then they they take it right over to <laughs> Handy and Hardham there in Philadelphia and sell the the remainder. Amazing. By the way, yeah. I drove all the way down Mount Lucas Road to where it uh, conjuncts with 206 in Princeton, and mm -hmm. nowhere is it anywhere near Princeton University where you say you lived in a dorm. No, no, the dorm was right at the Commodity Corporation uh, office, right on the slope of the, you know, how it slopes down. Uh, you yeah. know, it's on the side of the hill. That's where the dorm was on the side of that hill. It was right there at, at right right there at Com uh, Commodity Corporation. They had a 20-room 20, uh, 20 dorm there. I think, I don't know if it's still there or not, but, you know, it was there for years. <laughs> it's not. <laughs> yeah, well, <laughs> well the, the, you know, the Commodity, commodity Corporation. The average house there is a million bucks. Oh, yeah, that, I'm not that's, surprised. That's the but, bottom. Yeah. And, you know, mm -hmm. it goes up. So most of those, you know, if they aren't being used anymore, they're torn out and replaced mm -hmm. with mansions, literally mansions. So uh, I'm aware of okay, that. Okay, well, I, I had no idea there was that much recycling going on, and it's always yeah. good to talk with you, Larry. It's always good to talk with you, Beverly. I certainly appreciate it. And call in any time. We always like to oh. hear from you. Good enough. Thanks, Larry. Okay, you bet. Uh, Thank you. Bye-bye. Okay, let's move on here. We got the markets rocking and rolling today. The stocks are down just a little bit, doing very little. Uh, S and P is trading at 30, uh, 3083. Folks, pay really close attention to all these patterns that are happening. And also, we've got a really big event coming here on Monday. We have that transit of Mercury, and we are going to put Mr. Winsky's feet to the fire and have him explain to that. Maybe show us some examples of when that might have happened. That's equivalent to a uh, eclipse with. Uh, Mercury, and those of you that followed the works of Albert Einstein, that's what helped break the code for uh, the uh, theory of relativity, was the way that Mercury was uh, spinning around, and he had to predict where these supposed to, well, I don't know the whole thing, because it's way over my pay grade, but it, it was related to something, you know, like that. So we want to keep... Uh, keep him in our thoughts at all time, but not Mr. Winsky. We always have Winsky in our hot thoughts, but also Mr. Uh, what's his name? Uh, Albert Einstein. Okay, let's move on here. Oh, say, uh, someone's uh, talking about the price of silver being fixed by J.P. Morgan. Folks, I don't believe any of that conspiracy stuff. You know, like when they say that, the, you know, somebody's manipulating the markets. They've tried that for years. They can manipulate it for a short period of time. Yes, Beverly is the friend of Ross Perot. You're right. Uh, you're right, uh, Mr. Z. Uh, she certainly was. Anyway, um, the main thing was the uh, let me I lost my train of thought here. Oh dear, that's what happens. Okay, let's get back to the uh, the euro, folks. The euro is really, really in trouble right now. Let's just take. Well, what am I talking about? It's just a few pips under the magic number, but uh, we want to pay close attention to it now because we are we're breaking down below the 130. Let's just get this up here so the folks can take a quick look at it here. We've come down. Uh, below that key 382 level, we're now trading at one uh, 11030. Uh, well, 11028. Uh, that's not a good sign. It's also below the ABCD structure that we had there, also. So that's telling us that the U.S. dollar index that we usually focus on all the time. Uh, no, uh, that uh, hold it just a minute. Let's just correct something here. That wasn't uh, that wasn't Livermore in the cotton market. I don't believe. I believe that was uh, Terry. I believe the cotton guy was uh, uh, was it either Burton Pugh or somebody like that. I don't believe. I don't believe that it was because Livermore never really tried to corner a market as near as I can remember. Who was that cotton? Help me out, Mr. Z. You might remember who that cotton guy was. Uh, Oh, shucks, I can't remember. It is in, it said it in the book. Well, then if it's in the book, I've read it so many times. I haven't read it in years, but boy, I read it a lot of times. But I didn't think that he actually uh, tried to corner the cotton market, but that would have been one that you probably could have uh, do that. I know that some people have tried it, but they usually end very, very badly if you try to do something like that. The Hunt brothers tried to do it. And of course, the, the feds changed the rules on them. I don't know if you know that's what happened. You know, they were long a whole bunch of uh, silver and 
know, all the guys at the mercantile, uh, the New York Mercantile Exchange, New York Comics, they were all short. So what they did was they changed the rules. No more short selling, and they increased the margin by three or four hundred percent. Well, that put the end of that, uh, yeah, liquidation only rules. That put the end of that uh, bullish uh, thing. So that uh, that's what happened. That was when silver was trading right about 54 bucks. But actually, folks, there was not a lot of silver traded between 37 and 54. I was doing a lot of cash business in Drexel at the time back there in 80. And boy, I'll tell you, those guys were, they, they couldn't get anywhere near uh, 40 cents uh, an ounce in silver for sale. They just, just couldn't do it. 35 was the most we saw uh, go across. And those bags got to be about 32,000. In other words, the face value of 1,000 was worth um, 32. That's I let mine go at 30. That was the education for the kids. Anyway, let's take a little break here. 877 927 6648. I'm certain you are or strive to be one of the best of the best at everything you do in life. It's the most common trait that we tigers and tigresses share. If you're looking to become the best of the best when it comes to managing your money, let me teach you to do what most wealth managers tell you can't be done, which is how to time the markets. I'm Steve Rhodes, author of Mastering Probability, and for the last 12 months, Timer Digest has been tracking my newsletter signals, which have earned me the ranking as their number one market timer in the nation for the S&P 500 for the last 12 12, 6, and 3 months. Timer Digest also ranks me as the number one market timer for gold as well. The fact is, markets can be timed, and I'll teach you the exact set of tools that I use that has transformed me into one of the best at what I do. Sign up for Mastering Probability today by clicking on the newsletter tab on the homepage of TFNN.com and get immediate access to workshops where I take you step-by-step -step how to use an extraordinary set of tools as well as provide great market calls too. Sign up today. If you haven't checked out the newsletters page of TFNN.com, what are you waiting for? All of the TFNN newsletters are informative, up-to-date, affordable, and a must-have for every trader looking to gain a competitive informational edge in today's markets. TFNN newsletters cover every aspect of the markets to offer you the very latest in market news. Plus, new subscribers get to test drive our newsletters risk-free for 30 days. From all aspects of the markets, including stocks, bonds, metals, commodities, and tech, there's a newsletter to fit your needs exclusively from TFNN. Stay informed each day you trade and get that competitive edge that will help you stay ahead of the game. Visit our newsletters page by going to TFNN.com and click the newsletters button near the top of the page. TFNN.com, educating investors. Basil Chapman has just announced a live 90-minute webinar he'll be conducting for subscribers to his daily trading newsletter, The Opening Call, which will be taking place Tuesday, November 19th from 5 till 6.30 p.m. Eastern Time, titled A Comprehensive Review of the Chapman Wave Techniques and Market Outlook Ahead for 2020. This is a great time to sign up for a 30-day free trial to The Opening Call while gaining access to Basil's live subscriber event taking place later this month. With some stock picks up 15 to 30% this year alone, Basil will review many of the Chapman Wave techniques that helped in their successful analysis, as well as providing the sectors and stocks that he thinks will be of importance heading into 2020. For all the details, check out the opening call on the front page of TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. All right.
right, folks, we're back. We'll have Norm Winsky uh, on the show on Monday. That's uh, Veterans Day. And then we have the full moon coming in on Tuesday. So we'll watch how some of these things unfold as we go through and look at some of these things. We've had a pretty good sell-off in crude oil, folks. We're down $2 a barrel from the high we made at that target up there at the ABCD at $58 a barrel. So we're going to see if we hold this support here at uh, 56. Very strong support at 56. If this crude oil can hold, that's the that's the $64 question. That's the main thing to watch. We got the euro trading at 110.27. That one, that's a very very uh, important area, folks. Below that is uh, not very good at all. So I would be very very suspect of the, the euro going up if we get it much below 110.20, and we're only at 110.27 where we are right now. Remember, we have a lot of patterns completing. We posted them here gold, silver, all the others. So it's uh, it's real interesting to see whether these things are going to be uh, going to be holding or not. So we'll see. Let's move on here and we'll take a quick look here. Okay. Uh, okay, just a second. Uh, let me hold on. Let me, uh, let me get back to trying to do two things at once, folks. It's not an easy, uh, not an easy thing. Um, let's move on here. Uh, I don't, un I don't understand what's going on. I'm, I'm getting messages here that I don't understand, folks. So bear with me. I'm trying to make sure I don't mess something up, which is not an easy task. All right, just remember, folks. The main things: gold, silver. Watch those stocks. Watch those bonds. Watch those. Look at this bond, folks. This thing has just been crashing down here. We got that big ABCD down here. It's going to be real interesting. Open interest is dropping like crazy. And uh, so it's going to have a rally. The question is when. And it looks like it's all fitting together, like a rally in bonds, a sell-off in stock, you know, whatever. I don't know. So we'll see. We'll see what happens, uh, one thing at a time. That's uh, that's neither here nor there. Okay, we'll take a break. 877-927-6648. 877-927-6648. 